Strawberries are the fruit of the season. Joining us today is Chef Johnny Uzzini, the best pastry chef in America. Johnny, you're going to show us how to make a vanilla cake with strawberry lime compote. You know, it's summertime. It's all about, you know, truly Americana. And right now, I've joined up with Macy's and we launched this American Icon campaign and essentially just sharing tips and techniques. You know, it's Fourth of July coming up. It's a time for family, a time for tradition. And I just wanted to show you a couple quick desserts you can that. do. Let's, Let's do go it. for Let's it. So, this is essentially it's a chiffon, it's, it's an angel food cake. So, a key tip to this is the meringue has to be right and you really want to sift your ingredients. I sift okay. my dry ingredients at least four times. What that does is it truly aerates them, makes it a lot easier for them to go into uh, into the mixture. Ah, so okay. you're gonna help me. All right, I'm gonna just help you. There. Yep. What so, is in the meringue that we're so about to So the meringue is, is just egg whites, sugar, vanilla, mm -hmm. vanilla bean, not right. vanilla paste, and then uh, a little bit of salt. So what you're gonna do is just carefully sift that on top for me. Carefully. Yep. Have you seen me today? Not doing very good, but careful. Yeah, but your dress looks great. <laughs> so uh, okay. I look great doing it. <laughs> but you look great doing it. That's half the battle. Awesome. So you can see the meringue is actually wow. quite supple. Oh my gosh, it's so, so, so fluffy. So what people do to make the mistake all the time with cakes like this is uh, over whip the whites. So when ah. you're making a souffle or anything else, you actually want your whites to be a little bit softer. So this is a classic pan for uh, these type of cakes, like a bundt cake, whatever mm -hmm. else. So we're just going to line it in there. Do not grease your pan and do not use a nonstick pan. How come? Because. Why? The idea is that this cake is so light and gentle, you want it to climb up the sides, but you want the sides to really grab the cake and hold it. Once that's done, we end up with yep. that. We bake it at 350 until it's light and spongy. Just look at the color, test it just for a nice spring, take it out, invert it, let it cool thoroughly, run a knife around, and you're good to go. Looks great. Looks delicious. And Over here, we're doing what? Yep. So I want you to do me a favor. I just set I, my I know, finger I, in I this, know so. you're pretty. I know you're pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good in the kitchen. <laughs> what I want you to do is split a vanilla bean. There is a right and a wrong way to split a There is a right. Bean. I've you been told. You want to told. hold this tail, use the back of the knife. Flatten it, right? This makes it a lot easier. Now run the knife back through the center of it, split it into two sides, and scrape this. Scrape okay. This JD, you were JD, saying that. JD, what we're going to do is we're going to put yes. half our sugar in here now. This We've been just, simmering this, is, this cranberry. Yeah, it's just straight cranberry juice, not sweetened, right? Not we, want, sweetened. we want the acidity. So this is pectin, like you would make a jam or right. marmalade out of. We mix it in with the sugar. We always want to mix a powder and a sugar together. It helps disperse the powder so it doesn't clump. You remember like grandma's sausage, she would add flour and be all this clumpy flour clumpy, in there? Be all clumpy, The way to avoid that is always to do it with something granular, whether it's sugar or uh, something like that, like salt. We're going to okay. turn Jack that sucker up for okay. me. Now what are we doing with this? You're going to scrape that. Use oh. a very gentle Nicely blade. cut. Well done. Yeah, she, she killed it. She did great. She killed it. Oh, right look at that, look at that yep. vanilla yumminess. So that's, oh. that's where all the flavor is. And you're actually going to throw the bean in there as well. The whole bean? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to scrape the other side? Yep. Okay, scrape. And essentially, Why don't you just throw the whole bean in there and let well, it... Well, you want you really want to get harvest all the seeds out because okay. you'll end up straining this. And yep, this throw part that in goes there. in too. Yep. I like right it in. when you use everything in the kitchen. No no How long do we need to let so this reduce wanna, before it becomes You only want to let it go for about a minute just to really activate the pectin. Right. You want to let it cool down and then what you have is something very... Gelatinous, but still really soft enough to be oh, almost yeah. like a loose. Beautiful. To to That's that? it, like about a minute. Oh, wow. Just, okay. Just, so then we just take what we have a mixture of both fresh strawberries that are uh, halved. And uh, this is really the time of the year. Like, the summer is my favorite time yeah, of the, the year. Yeah, the berries are the berries so start. Good. You see, we have amazing yeah. sour cherries, and these are the little tri stars. These are day glow. So these are only around for a couple months a year. So we're just going to toss those in, and we're going to finish it. I like to really add acidity to things. So we have tartness. We have sweetness, acidity. This is really what makes things You're happen. You're going to zest so I want a bit you to of keep a lime in there. Okay. Like I'm going to start cutting our cake. All right.